Yo, what up? I'm just gonna make a real quick video of my old school 40 inch Sony CRT TV. It's a XBR 800 model. I believe it came out in 2003. And it's pretty big, as you can see. Next to all my other stuff, it's like monsters. It has a really big back. That's why I kind of had to like put it in the corner. Let me see my arm. There's only a little bit of space back here. It doesn't get it really too hot. But uh, yeah, I use this for um, retro gaming only. So like, I got my Super Nintendo emulator and my PlayStation emulator. And I'd be playing like the Sega sometimes. Oh, you can't see. I got like the Sega controller. Nintendo 64 controller. I got my Neo Geo controller. Oh, I got a Sega Saturn on it too. And then uh, I usually just use it for emulators, and they work pretty good. I'll make a video showing that. But other than that, it's just a quick video um, of it set up in my room. And uh, I got it connected to my computer little custom made computer that I made for it by DVI so it's connected through DVI in the back and the sound is going to the speakers by um, headphone jack through the back of it so uh, you can check it out real quick you know here's how YouTube looks on it I have it set at 480p. Oh, let me see. So, so yeah, that's what I have it set right there. 480p, 720, x480, and I could go all the way up to um, 1080i, but it, like it shrinks and it gets really small here. I'll show you that real quick. See how it like gets all small on the screen? But it could do it, so I just go to no. So yeah, I have it set at 480p. So that's why the internet browser kind of looks blocky on it. But you know, you could always like shrink the internet browser just by holding this one. And then you can zoom out. It looks a little better like that when you zoom out. So yeah, that's it. I could watch movies on it or watch YouTube on it. Like, throw on a long play real quick. I'll lower that so I don't get a copyright strike. Fast forward. That's pretty much how it'll look. I'm gonna put it on full screen. A video or whatever, but yeah, I use it for playing games. Let me try this one, or no, I'll try Mario Kart. Let's see. There you go. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Still for its age. Keeping up there with the old school plasma. Then I still got this old school one going. I think that one's from like 1995. That's like a 2016 LED right there. So it looks pretty good for its age. And then, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I got a collection of movies downloaded as well. Let me see. Oh no, I'll go to cartoons. I'll do cartoons. Simpsons real quick. Let's draw whatever. Lower it. But yeah, there's the Simpsons on it. Sometimes I'll be watching the Simpsons on it, like at nighttime. When it gets dark, I'll put on the Simpsons. Just cool to chill out too. It was full screen, pretty nice. I think you could adjust the settings on PLC 
but yeah. It's kind of dope to get that old school vibe from it. I have the lights on in my room right now, but when it's dark, it like glows the whole room. It's pretty sick. And then, uh, that's about it. Only thing else to show you is the emulators. Uh, I got the PlayStation going recently and uh, I had the settings set for 480p so the game loads full screen pretty nice watch check this out it's playing doom so it goes on the whole screen look at that pretty nice sounds really nice Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I turn this light real quick. I know the demo will start playing in a little bit, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Turn the light back on. But yeah, it's a badass TV. Uh, they're getting pretty rare and hard to find. There you go. There you go. You got any settings, you know, ultra fireworks. And then, you know, it's kind of hard to play with one hand, but whatever. And there it is. That's how it looks. It's pretty badass. Kill me, kill me. Kill him. Oh, yeah. Gone. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You see how it's like full screen, though? Like the way it was supposed to look like when you would actually plug in the console? Damn, it's just blasting. It's just like all around it. I noticed I have like a green glow right here, probably from the speaker because the magnet so I gotta get me one of those tools I'll take that away I forgot what the name of the tool is called but um, this is the original controller for it let me see here what settings do I got on it right now I don't even know Color temp cool, clear edge high. There's the picture on it. Not that bad. It definitely still has a lot of life left to it. So I'm hoping it lasts. I don't know, another 10, 15, maybe 20 years. Just like that one right here. Big old school one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd make a quick video of it. Got the original stand. Yeah. Dope, dope. I think I need to get a DVD player for it and start collecting some more DVDs. Other than that, pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Take care.